But here's the thing. How do I turn it on? It's on now. I'm blinking, so it must be going. What does that word say up there? FSH in red and VCHD on the top. Oh my god, it's, I think we're talking through the whole Yeah, line. we are, but that's all right. Hello, everybody. Uh, as you can see here, we're getting ready to do our faux brick on our uh, kitchen wall. What we've done is taken down the beadboard that was there, I filled in all the nail holes, um, sanded everything down, and gave it a quick coat of primer. Then I measured out uh, the size of what a brick is. I measured an actual brick and just measured out, uh, notched lines along the edge of each wall, and we snapped a chalk line across and I'm just running tape along the chalk line as you can see working on the horizontals first and later I'm going to come along and do all the verticals after measuring all those out this is kind of a painstaking process it takes a while but uh, well worth it in the end the masking tape I'm using is from Walmart I believe it's 7 16 of an inch wide it was like 70 cents a roll As I mentioned a moment ago, I'm now doing the verticals on the bricks. It's really nice to actually see them taking shape so you can kind of get a feel for what the wall is going to look like. Now I'm applying the joint compound. Uh, I got this at Home Depot. I think it was $17 for the five gallon bucket or so. Just kind of spread it on, uh, not really flat. You want to leave some ridges and some bumps to, so it, they look more like a natural brick. It was a little too thick, so I added some water to mix it up a bit, so it'll spread a little thinner. Looks like cake batter, doesn't it? Maybe I just like cake. Okay, so I spread a layer, maybe about a foot and a half, two feet wide, all across the top, and I'm gonna start peeling off the tape. This is where it gets a little bit messy. I've got a nice sheet of plastic on the floor, and um, it makes kind of a mess, but well worth it in the end. So I continued working in uh, about two foot sections on, all the way down the wall. So we got down to the bottom. This part actually went quicker than I thought. The preparation, uh, taping and everything took longer. Um, so what we have here, I'm just about finished. When this is done, what we did was we ran a dehumidifier and a fan overnight. 
to make sure everything was nice and dry uh, before the painting began. And once everything was dry, if we noticed any high ridges, I would just take a putty knife and scrape those off um, to make them look more like natural brick. And here comes the fun part. This is a little bit of craft paint you can find at Walmart for a dollar. I did get a brown color, but right now you see me putting on a slate gray paint that we had laying around the house. I'm sorry to say, I don't know how much it was or the name brand. We just ha had it lying around the house and I've since thrown it away, but it is a nice dark slate gray color. As you can see, that's the first coat of the paint that went on and you're starting to see the bricks take shape. Before that went on, however, I did touch up where there might have been a chalk line here and there, um, or it just looked a little dingy from the primer. I would go over it with the chalk paint in between, touch up little areas. Now you see some brown craft paint over uh, the gray and just kind of in little spots so it looked a little natural. You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to be particular about it. Just try to picture what a brick looks like. Now I'm using a Rust-Oleum chalk paint and it's a pint for about $25. This is the most expensive part, but oh boy, does it look great. It looks like a nice German schmear. You wanna just uh, dip the paint in the can and brush off as much as you can, a lot of it actually. You just want just a light coat because you're lightly brushing it on so you still see the color of the brick coming through and the white is what you would do in a German schmear. You're painting over that to give it a whitewashed effect. You definitely want chalk paint for this as it will give you that brushed on uh, German schmear look. So this is kind of a technique almost called dry brushing where it's not really wet. But see how you still see the colors of the brick coming through? It looks more natural. And some bricks have a little more of that white chalk paint than others. So I would say this whole project was all in all under $50. Not bad for a brick wall. Although some parts were a little bit tedious and a lot of waiting, um, even with the painting of the bricks, you probably would have to wait about a half an hour in between each coat. As long as you had a fan going at the same time, it would go about a half an hour. But it takes in all maybe two days from beginning to end of the days, but well worth it. And it's a great accent wall for on the cheap. There's no way you'd buy a brick wall or make a brick wall under $50 otherwise.